Well, June is strawberry planting time, and especially at Portland Nursery, I'm with Sarah. And Sarah, you have so much stock of strawberries. Yes, we are literally up to our ears today <laughs> with strawberries, as you can see. Definitely. Um, but we narrowed it down a little bit for the show today. We've oh, got um, June bearing and ever bearing. Okay. So the June bearing strawberries are going to produce all at once. Ah. So they're really great for like um, jams, sauces, big parties, that type of thing. <laughs> Um, and then the Everbearing, which are also called Day Neutral, and I heard a rumor they've actually changed it to be oh, that called be Day great. Neutral. Yes. <laughs> and that's kind of weird because you have June Bearing and Day Neutral. So. <laughs> um, anywho, those produce a little bit here and there. So Perfect. they're great for like your cereal in the morning, some fresh eating, that type of thing. So we picked two varieties of each. All right. And um, these are a really good deal. There's about 10 in each one oh, of these. Oh, I was wondering. I thought maybe one big plant. Right. No. Yeah. No, so there's, this could feed a family here. Definitely. Um, <laughs> so the first um, June bearing one is the Rainier oh, that we picked. So yummy. Rainier and Hood are the ones we picked for June bearing. They're known in this area. They're like originated in the Pacific Northwest. Um, the thing about the Rainier that, I mean, the Hood's good for um, freezing too, but the Rainier is good for freezing. Um, really sweet flavor. A lot of people have probably had them in restaurants and things like that. They're very popular. Um, the Hood is as similar as well and that one's probably the most popular I think famous so. strawberry that yeah. we have in this area um so delicious but you know for me the ever bearing works better because i like to eat them fresh <laughs> um so sea seascape is a kind of portland nursery favorite um they're nice firm sweet produce a little bit here and there All right. um i mean they have good yield um, and then we've got TriStar. Oh, another good one. Yeah, and this one's good for freezing too. I mean, you can freeze day neutral ones as well. Definitely. Mm -hmm. And so tell us about how to plant them. So we know that we, this isn't one plant, this is several. So you want to tease them apart and then like a raised bed or a prepared bed with nice soil. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they like the good drainage as does a lot of things. Um, so basically, yeah, flipping this over kind of taking the pot off and gently teasing them apart okay. and they have little heads um it's it, it's pretty easy to get them apart you okay. don't really have to like tear the roots or anything um and then planting those about 12 inches apart okay. in the ground um or you can do them in a window box you can do them in a classic strawberry box oh, that would um, be great you can even do them in a hanging basket oh that is true so they're pretty easy as they're versatile um and sometimes they see runners, so should we leave them, should we clip them, what should we do with the runners? That's a good question. Um, if you want them to take over, you can let the runners go. Okay. Um, but, you know, a lot of times that'll leave a bare spot where the mother plant was. So okay. if you pinch those runners off at the mother, that'll keep them kind of in a neater and row. Just plant them, okay. Uh -huh. And then you can take those and plant those somewhere else or... You know, it's kind of up to you. That they're they're going to do well in this area. So. It is it is strawberry place, isn't it? We yeah. are very well known for it. Yeah. And then fertilizer? A good fertilizer at planting and um, then after they're done blooming would be, or uh, fruiting would be good. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, you can see that they have lots of stock here. And if you have any other questions, you can go to, to the website and they have care sheets there and all of the varieties that they carry. And there's differences in all the different varieties. So you can pick some for your own strawberry patch at your house. Thanks so much. Thank you.